Now if you observe, we have not applied the armhole measurement anywhere. Armhole measurement is taken for cross-checking or for reference. Now once you have drawn this armhole, just measure your armhole, walk your tape around the curve and measure till the ease point on the chest. It should give you half your armhole measurement plus whatever ease you have added. Now for example in this the armhole measurement is 17 so I should be getting 8.5 plus 3 fourth inch ease that I have added here and that's so measure it. So nine and a quarter, that is the measurement. So now this is correct. I'm getting the right measurement. If at all, in some body proportions, if you're not getting this measurement, if you're not getting half your armhole, if it's coming lesser than that, that means you need to shift the chest line downwards and redraw the armhole so that your armhole becomes bigger and you get your required measurement. In the same way, if you are getting excess here, that is half your armhole plus ease plus more than that, that means you need to shift your chest line upwards and redraw the armhole to make the armhole a little smaller so that the excess is removed. So this is the adjustment you will need to do after drawing the pattern. Before cutting the pattern, just cross check and make sure you are getting your armhole measurement. Now I would like to give one more clarification. When you connect from chest to waist with a straight line, your bust point should fall on the line or within the line. But in some body proportions, it may not fall on the line or within the line. It may come out of the line. That means the dress will be, it will be tight at that point. So what you need to do is, if your bust point is lying outside the seam line, you would need to increase the ease on chest and waist so that you are able to accommodate the bust point within the line. So increase by quarter inch on chest and waist or more connect again. Now the bust point is on the line. So that is the change you would need to make as per your body proportions. And then redraw the hip curve and connect to the same point you're not increasing the ease on the hip line now when you increase the ease on chest line and waist line the garment may become loose the dress may become looser than what you wanted in that case you will have to cut your front and back separately for the front you have made the changes now whatever excess ease you have given in the front reduce it at the back so from the original ease point reduce quarter inch on the chest line and on the waistline and your back line and the front line will not be same this would be your back line with the reduced ease all the lines will meet at the ease point on hip line so this will be your same line for back and the outermost line will be the same line for your front. So while cutting the fabric, you'll cut the front as per the outermost line and while cutting the back you will follow the inner line as I'm showing here. There is a change you would need to make only if your quarter bust round is lying beyond the seam line. Thank you for watching this video and happy sewing.